In this demo, I'll show the basic report and requisition, or R&R workflow. For COVID vaccine rollouts, either this workflow or stock management can provide a simple way to get frequent, trustworthy data, such as vaccine vials used and remaining. For the basic R&R, I will start on my Android tablet. I'll open a Chrome browser and log in as a vaccine health worker. And here on the OpenLMIS dashboard, the menu items are determined by my account roles. I'm gonna show the basic report and requisition workflow that can support COVID vaccine rollouts. So I'll navigate to requisitions, create and authorize. And it knows which facility I'm at. Uh, if I were at a warehouse serving more facilities, I could choose. And the R&R workflow is based on a periodic schedule. So I'm gonna click proceed for this week's report and requisition. And this shows me I'm set up to report only, not to order. I'll show ordering a little later in this video. And so this report and requisition form shows a list of all my products and lets me fill out just the key data that I need to make it easy to report on the stock I've used and also to match paper LMIS or ordering forms that people might be used to. So for my vaccine, my 10 dose vials, um, let's say we've actually, uh, so we started with 300, we didn't receive any more, uh, but we consumed all 300 and um, um, we were never out of stock, so um, that's easy. Um, for the syringes, let's say we actually did receive 100 more and you know we, we consumed 300 syringes as well, so we had some stock remaining. And for any of these products, I could also list losses and adjustments, like gloves, uh, maybe I didn't receive any more, um, I consumed 200, but um, you know, what if actually some of those were wasted because they were damaged, for example? Um, you can record those reasons um, for you know, any kind of adjustments or losses here, uh, similar to how you can on a stock management form. And um, overall, this form makes it easy to say, you know, what have I used and what's left, which is the key data for quick rollouts of COVID vaccine programs. So when I'm done, I can complete my requisition. Um, I can submit and authorize it. I'll, I'll click Submit. Um, and by the way, when I'm filling it out, it's okay if I work offline or if I lose internet. I can work on it offline, but you do need to be online again when you submit here at the end. Okay, and that's it. My requisition was submitted. My data was sent off. It's now visible in dashboards. It can be configured to go through an approval workflow or be converted to an order or shipments. Uh, but what we just saw is the basic R and R workflow that can support COVID vaccine rollouts. Um, it's simple. So now I'm going to switch to a laptop just to give you an idea of some of the more complicated report and requisition configurations that could be set up with more products or more data fields. So here in my Firefox browser. If I'm a warehouse clerk, um, I will show an example of a different requisition configuration. So I'm, I'm again gonna go create a requisition, but this time there's lots of facilities I supervise and I'll pick one and um, start a requisition you know, for that facility. And this requisition form is set up to order. So it's not just a reporting, but an ordering form. And um, this form shows 
a lot of different products and a lot of different columns of information. So here's a number of different vaccines pre-populated with information it already had from previous reports. And this has many different columns that are all available in OpenLMIS and totally configurable. Which ones you want or don't, which are required or optional, what order they appear in. It's very flexible. So in this case, you see it has some auto-calculated um, quantities for ordering. And I can override that and decide, you know, I do want to order a thousand of this vaccine and, um, and give a reason. But I don't have to fill in any of the rest. I can just go with the default quantities. So this is one example of the kinds of additional data and additional options you could set up a requisition to work with. So I'll you know, submit the rest and, and it'll automatically fill in everything I didn't manually override. So requisitions do give you many different options and there's also a way you can use requisitions with stock management together to have the r and &R automatically fill out, uh, filled out based on the stock management data that you'd already collected and make ordering as simple as pushing a button. We have a demo video that shows that configured for COVID products and, and other demo videos that show different requisition capabilities. So I'll just wrap up by saying, remember how simple the basic r, &R is on its own. A simple r, &R or the basic stock management in our other demo video, those are two ways to get started tracking COVID vaccines easily with the most important data points that feed into dashboards and can grow over time to fit more advanced supply chain processes you might have. So thanks again.